Welcome everybody, Film Fan went away here, and welcome to my follow-up video to the Movie Pass Will It Be Worth It video that I did at the end of January. And in that video, I showed you my Movie Pass card. I talked about Movie Pass. I told you how excited I was to use the Movie Pass card. And now, a few months later, I've decided to update you guys and make another video. And if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you know I've been doing a series on the channel called My Movie Pass Adventures. And My Movie Pass Adventures is about really me going to these theaters, experiencing the theaters themselves, showing you guys me using the Movie Pass card, interacting with people. And it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed going to these theaters, whether it's a $3 theater, whether it's a big Regal Cinema Theater, Movie Tavern, all that jazz. I really have enjoyed using it, and I use it every time I go to the movie theaters, regardless. Whether I'm doing the movie reviews or the My Movie Pass Adventures, I always end up using my trusty Movie Pass card. And even if you remember the video that I did about Movie Pass, at the beginning of the video that I did um, at the end of January, I showed you the Movie Pass app at that point. And if you ended up seeing that video at the time, that the app was very interesting at that point. It it was very early in the app's existence. If you go now to the app, and I can show you guys right now. The app now is actually really different than what it was when I did the video. Um, they've updated it quite a lot. You can see sort of all different movies here that's playing, all that jazz. Of course, there's a movie uh, trailer playing up front here. And you can even go to theaters here, and it will show you all of the theaters that are in your area. And you can even have a list view of all of the theaters as well. So they've definitely changed their app quite a bit, and I think it's been for the better. But what are my real thoughts about what's going on with MoviePass now? Oh man, controversy and controversy and controversy. Let me say this much, I love using my MoviePass card. It has been fantastic it has been a great experience because let's be honest a lot of movies nowadays that come out you really don't want to see a lot of them some of them are really kind of miss more than they are hit but the great thing about this movie pass card is basically you get the opportunity to go see movies that you wouldn't normally want to see because you have this card and you know that it's ten dollars a month now, MoviePass has been doing something where basically they've been doing these sort of promotional deals on their website, where basically you'll, you won't be paying $10 a month. You'll be paying uh, a certain amount, but you also get a subscription to iHeartRadio or something like that. Or they're limiting movies now to maybe four or five movies a month. Uh, they're doing all these weird experimentation stuff, and the reason why they're doing that is basically MoviePass is running out of money. Uh, basically, their stocks are falling, and it's been reported that basically within a couple months, if not uh, maybe a little bit more, that basically they're going to run out of money and MoviePass is going to be done. Now, that really saddens me, because I think MoviePass is fantastic. I think it's a great experiment in cinema to get people back in the theater, get those butts in the seats. But I also feel people have been misusing MoviePass. Now, what MoviePass has also done is that they've ended up putting in a... Um, a little clause that you can now only see that particular movie that you use your movie pass card on once so let's say you in the past wanted to you loved you went to a movie and you wanted to see that particular movie you saw it you loved it and you decided you know what within a week i'm gonna go two other times to see that same movie now you can't do that you see that movie once and now movie pass knows that you've seen that movie so you cannot use your movie pass card again 
on that same movie. People are upset about it. People are frustrated. Here's my point of view on it. I feel like going to see the same movie multiple times in the theater with your movie pass card i almost feel like that's overusing movie pass to me because in my eyes at least for me if i see a movie once and i really enjoy it i know i'm gonna buy it on blu-ray or dvd if i don't like it then i'm not gonna go back and if i like a movie in the theaters using the movie pass card i will go back and pay my own money to see it again if I really liked it all that much. I feel like there was a lot of misuse and there was a lot of abuse on the movie pass card and I feel like movie pass is trying to curb that. Now again I don't mind it because again I don't mind seeing a movie once and then that's it because again I know either I like it or I don't like it after I see it. I don't have to go back multiple times to confirm my thoughts when I, I initially saw it. But I know people are upset about it, and if you're upset, you have a right to be upset about it. But again, you have to look at it from MoviePass as a business standpoint. They are trying to curb the bleeding, okay? Right now, they are spending way more money than they're actually making. And they want to try to sort of stop the bleeding a bit to try to do, okay, once you've seen that movie, that's it. They want you to experience other movies. That's not a bad thing. Also, what they've also done as well is that when you get your ticket now, you have to use your phone and you actually have to take a picture of the movie stub or else you may lose your subscription to MoviePass. Now, that's upset a lot of people as well. I'm going to tell you guys this much. For me personally, I've been doing the taking the picture thing on the ticket stub for a couple months now. They sort of chose me as one of the people to sort of beta test it, I guess. And I've been doing it for a while. Honestly, I don't mind doing it because it's a small price to pay for a great service that I'm paying $10 a month for. And I'm seeing, again, two or three movies a week during the weekend. And they're all new movies. I'm not going twice or three times to see a movie. They're all new movies, every single one of them. Again... You have to look at it from this point. You are paying $10 a month and you're seeing maybe three or four movies a week or even three or four movies a month. You're already saving money. Taking a little picture of a ticket stub, is that really an inconvenience for you guys? I mean, come on, really think about it. Really think about it, guys. And... You know what, honestly, MoviePass has just been evolving a lot. Whether it's the whole idea of maybe um, trying to do their own service, like a Rotten Tomatoes thing, which people have sort of pushed back on. Or, you know, they've been trying to maybe finance certain movies to try to get some revenue that way. They've definitely been trying different things to do. What I'm saying is that I really want MoviePass to stay, guys. At the end of the day, MoviePass is just a great experience to have. Because again, I think as moviegoers, sometimes we think to ourselves, you know what, you look at physical media releases, you look at Blu-rays, you look at DVDs, and you say to yourself, look, these movies, they're going to come out in about three months time, sometimes even less. And you think to yourself, why should I go to a theater and pay the money in order to watch this when I can just wait? Or it'll even get on the digital platform before it'll even get on Blu-ray and DVD. So you wonder why to even pay that money. And that's why I think MoviePass is as smart as MoviePass is because it's trying to get that theater experience back. But people have been angry about the limited number of times that people get to watch a movie. They've been pissed about having to take the picture for the ticket stub. And there's even rumors right now, and again, they're just rumors, that we may be paying more money for MoviePass in the future just so MoviePass can sustain itself. Let me tell you guys this much, and I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I do not mind paying more money for MoviePass. 
I will pay up to $30 a month for movie pass just so I can still keep it around because guess what if you still think about it you're paying $30 a month for movie pass if you see three movies that movie pass has already been paid for in the course of a month three mo movies that's not asking a lot guys thirty dollars to me is still a reasonable amount heck forty dollars would even be a reasonable amount and I'd still go for it now again these are just my opinions this is just what I think but again I want to keep this service around I want to support movie pass and I feel like I'm hearing so much negativity about MoviePass that in some ways we're forgetting the benefits that MoviePass really gives us. The fact that I think I've seen movies that I wouldn't have give a, given a chance to otherwise. I think I've ended up really, really um, bringing a camaraderie to people that I've talked to about MoviePass. I've met people who have had it and have grown friendships because of it. Um, I have went to theaters that I normally wouldn't have went to. I've seen, you know, some movies and really enjoy movies that I wouldn't have seen otherwise because of this tiny little movie pass card, guys. What I'm saying is that before you go and hate on something, weigh the benefits versus the disadvantages. And at the end of the day, if you think that the disadvantages outweigh the benefits, then it's your prerogative, go ahead and cancel your MoviePass account. But I think this is a great service that really does need to be saved. And for my opinion and for my money, I think that this has absolutely been worth it, 100%. And even if MoviePass goes under in a couple months time, which I hope it doesn't, but let's say it does, I'm going to look back fondly on MoviePass. I'm going to look back fondly on MoviePass. I'm going to look back fondly on the experience that I had with this card. And I'm going to remember the good times. And I'm going to remember how much I really enjoyed this service. And how much I'm going to miss the hell out of it. So, you know what guys? Really think about MoviePass. Really think about all the stuff that it really gives us as movie fans. And, you know, let me know what you guys think about MoviePass. The good, the bad... And, you know, what are, have your experiences been with the card? Let me know. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying using the MoviePass card. I'm still using it to this day. And I'm going to continue to use it until the service ends, whenever that may be. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the My Movie Pass Adventures. Check out the movie reviews I do every single week. Check out all the other stuff I do, Netflix, Nights, movie reviews, all that other stuff. And if you like my thoughts on movies, my thoughts on physical media, hit subscribe and be a part of the Film Fan Nation. I love talking movies and physical media. I have a passion for it, and I hope you do too. If you share my passion, come on board the channel. And I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, Film Fan 108 so keep up to date with all of the videos that I'm posting. And in the meantime, guys... Enjoy your movie pass card, because I certainly will. Take care.